a spanking, didn't we? The latter two did survive, but are now gravely endangered. Both finally banned in several countries, terminated from major retailers, ingesting a healthy dose of technical support. And most importantly, parents are now educated and protecting their children properly. And then, as for the predators we exposed, they have either been imprisoned, or some may have gotten away. And I hope they live happily ever after. And it was all thanks to you. No, I will not take credit for your achievements, because it was you, after all, who laid categorical sunshine and rainbows to those silly goobers. All I did was nudge things in a particular direction. As such, do not pay me any gratitude, because I don't want it, nor do I deserve it. I am content enough just to sit down on this throne of happiness by your side, piling the cherries and gumdrops beneath us, and to confess, I know I always say I do this for the children, but if I'm being perfectly honest, I think maybe my main goal might have just been all true friendship. Helping you was the cherry on top. Well, even if some cannot appreciate the gravity of what we are doing, they cannot deny that you and I and others have been setting a precedent where the world will no longer tolerate pedophiles talking to and touching children. Steadily we build a safer world for children. Empathy and sympathy, harder to afford than ever before. And until we find a cure for those in need of help, we will have Ripping and tear. Shenanigans. Intoxicated on our joy. I miss those days with you, old friend. Eventually life took over. We went our separate ways. And both of us began to raise children. Me, a daughter named Ruby. And him, a son named Duncan. Beautiful, innocent, loving little creatures. I rescued Ruby from a shelter. He, on the other hand, had rescued Duncan from a puppy mill. And as that sad truth unfastened, Cameron found himself in the emergency room with his beloved son, Duncan, suffering a manifold of health complications due to the abusive breeder before his rescue. Cameron desperately spent thousands on surgeries and medicines to keep Duncan alive just for him to die soon after. I know there are no words to properly describe how you must feel, my friend. The amount of hatred, anger, confusion, and sadness you must be feeling. I am so sorry. Originally, this video 
was going to be dedicated to searching and reporting the man responsible for Duncan's death. But unfortunately, contact was lost with him before I was even notified of the situation. We will find you one day, and until then, we will not stray from the path of good. So, I dedicate this video to Duncan and all innocent animals murdered by the hands of men. Some may think it foolish of me to dedicate educational content because of the death of a dog. And I don't care. I'm not your messiah. I'm not a hero. I'm not the good guy. Misunderstood. Little people. The only way they can express their repressed emotions against the world is to hurt tiny, defenseless, fledgling animals. And that is the absolute biggest thing their silly existence will ever be capable of fighting. So soft. I cannot fathom anything more pathetic than trying to be famous by killing animals. You are literally showing the world that you are so quirky and unique. And there is not even a single redeeming quality about you. That in your desperation, the only option you have to make someone just give you a morsel of sweet attention is to commit one of the most shocking acts on camera to the most beloved beings. And even then, Memes will still have longer lifespans than you. You are the most special motherfucking goofballs I have ever heard of. Congratulations. You earned 15 seconds of attention from less than 1% of the human race that has already forgotten about you. Have fun getting years of healthy self reflection. That is. If the cops can find you before we do. Oh, didn't you hear? If you want to be famous, we will make you famous. Not for killing animals, though. Oh, no. Any Neanderthal with a club can do that. No, 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 no. You will be remembered. Your sparkling personality. We have a smorgasbord to choose from. We need only to open up our mail. I see a lot of leads, but also notice a lot of passionate fans inspired by our work, offering their services to us. One of them even claiming they- I literally can't say or show any of this on YouTube. Oh, with an image attached. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. But we'll get back to that later. As for right now, I'm looking for animal abuse, and there is sadly a lot. One 
instance in particular floods my inbox, predominantly sent by young children, frantically asking for help with only the thumbnail image attached. All in response to a video recently posted on Instagram and TikTok of someone stomping a puppy to death. repeating username to our quest log c1 rink just a blood trail for now itinerary for today find the video find the people in the video i started by searching up the username not one but many exact matches fitting our profile load up and on just about every platform, feeds full of animal gore, with captions and comments making fun of the poor creatures. We will find them all with variations of the C1 rink name in question. I've seen some argue that it's a title for an underground animal torture ring, being that the combination of the words C1 and rink together are supposed to have some kind of significance and that would explain why there's so many of them. It's a group. But I've also seen others try to tie it to the word cry one ing, like a cry for help, which is synonymous with the behavior of these accounts, claiming that they are being forced and need outside aid. I think it's all just a bunch of stupid fucking bullshit. These are exaggerated fairy tales of a stupidly silly pseudonym. You want to know what I see? But then there's the avatar. Most of these users associated with the name predominantly wear this image. Looks like the shitty Madoka Magica fan art I would draw when I was 12, but it can be traced back to an original image on a Chinese social media site similar to Pinterest, known as Dui Tang, and nothing of interest here. It is just a stolen asset. And finally, all of the posts made from these accounts. Well, most of them are tame and hardly show any abuse, if at all, and only really allude to it in the captions, and sometimes not even that. Then on the other side, those that do actually show real animal gore are all swiped from someplace else off the internet that's already been circulating for years. These are fakes, either trolling or seeking popularity from the throes of the original. And most importantly, no video of someone stomping a puppy to death anywhere. I do not relish wasting our time excavating through the dust of hoaxes, but there is something here. We will happen upon witch hunters, hackers, and doxers, all dedicated to tracking and punishing the C1 rink. Although, they're a lot younger than you might expect. What the hell is wrong with you? Those animals did nothing to you. Do you feel terrible when you kill these animals? C1 rink? ¿Cómo están gentes de YouTube? A new YouTube cat killer. The first thumbnail, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a little lamplight of young investigators trying to get the word out and bring justice for the abused animals. You worry yourselves no more with this, children. Mama.
was here. Thankfully, I was able to piece together the chronicle of events as they occurred after watching a few of these videos. So, our timeline will look something like this. At the apex of the pandemic, a viral video of someone stopping a puppy gains mass traction on TikTok and Instagram after influencers and repost accounts recirculate it to their audience of children to spread awareness and is why so many kids had to bear witness to it. As the videos grow in infamy, a user by the name of C1 Rink takes credit for the making of it. And this account already has a history promoting and posting Zeus sadism content before. They then threaten to hurt or kill more animals if they don't reach a large following within a certain period of time. The exacerbated children who witness these events transpire who have little understanding of how Zeus sadists operate, share the account in an effort to keep C1 rank from hurting more animals, successfully getting it to upwards of 10,000 followers. But, of course, the animal cruelty does not stop. The C1 rank account is soon hacked by a group that calls themselves Harem, who then post from the main C1 rank account that they have taken care of everything. Naturally, the poorly ran platforms take their sweet ass time to take action. But eventually, after literal thousands of reports and months of waiting later, deliver terminations for everyone posting and reposting the puppy stomping video and any trace of C1 Rink from their respective platforms. But done in vain, because C1 Rink allegedly keeps making new backup accounts and killing more animals, who then gets confused with many, many imposters and fan pages that began to spawn in the wake of this madness, all claiming to be the original C1 Rink, each of them reposting animal gore, and then they all eventually get deleted, and then even more are made, and the cycle continues. No one can distinguish if there even is or ever was an original C1 rink anymore. Of course, as this happens, more and more children are exposed to the cruelty that befell the animals in these videos, immediately believing it's an original from C1 rink, promptly assigning the blame to them, and doing what little they can to help bring justice. This is the part where we came in. peculiar oddball infamous for abusing her dog on tiktok she has been connected by various users saying she is c1 rink's girlfriend and is the one who created the puppy stopping video however these are all baseless rumors that my team and i have been unable to find any evidence for it is just a coincidence that she and c1 rink decided to abuse their dogs on tiktok as similar dates Ordinarily, I would show her face and center our prayers, but unfortunately she is outside our jurisdiction and better thank whatever God she prays to every day that we have no interest in doing anything to mulch. Our second suspect is Eve, an attention seeking lady that uses random pictures of e-girls as her profile picture and who tries to be edgy by threatening to hurt her pets on YouTube and Funimate. 
She has been connected by the fact that she changes her username every other day, and some of those usernames included WSP Eve and Cry One Ring, which people have often confused for C1 Rink. And whether it's intentional or not, there is nothing else connecting her to the C1 Rink account or the puppy stomping video. She is also, unfortunately, outside our jurisdiction. So our wrath shall pass over this one today. Our third suspect is just one of many forever alone losers that needs the sweet attention of another human being who made an imposter account named C1 Rink dot underscore. Because why else than the fact that he has no friends? I do not know for certain if he has actually abused any animals or if he is the real C1 Rink, but since he wants to be perceived as such, and since he is a paid actor in this fictional story, here's his face. If you're curious.
rooms of his new upper, pretending to be C1 Rink, where I upload them to my reawakened C2 Rink YouTube channel, a honeypot, one that my team and I will share to every single person who's ever posted the name C1 Rink anywhere on the internet. The Zeus sadists that contact the email will be invited to a trade. They give me the video I'm looking for, and I send them a digital folder named redpuppy.zip that I had some friends carefully designed for us. When they download and open it, well, I'm really not at liberty to say. But what I can tell you is that them and their little closed off community of animal killers are gonna get a knock on their door from some. Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding, it's a joke. never mind because one of the people that I had previously reached out to finally replied and literally just handed me a silver platter with all the information I wanted about the entire situation with evidence to back up everything damn I really wanted to use that zip folder anyway uh, here's our guy Statement. I'm a concerned citizen who wants animal abusers on the internet. And I was one of the initial investigators in the C11 case. TLDR some edgy, further long teenage boys wanted girlfriends. Allow me to explain. Ever wonder why the live streams only film with fuzzy, indefinite objects in the distance? Is it a coincidence that all their posts containing animal abuse? Match other water sources from the web. Wasn't it so fortunate that he was finally stopped by a group of hackers at the peak of his popularity? It all begins and ends with Harem. The only group of self proclaimed suicidal hackers, the valiant band of champions who stood up to the terrible C1 web, hijacked his account and blocks the living shit out of him. Is that not so much? Then an infamous group of anonymous script kiddies who send each other CP, hide themselves for attention, and pretend it's all part of a grand satanic whole, in accordance with one of the nine angels, or the nine A, as they call it online. But of course, since it came within a bunch of awful wannabe sound cloud rappers, it's all just a bunch of bullshit. The truth? They created C1 Rank, wanting to make themselves look like the heroes when they finally saw them. Two, to rank twelve and bring mass attention to themselves. And three, to quote unquote, recruit teenage girls into their club, which translates to asking them for news and to cut themselves. Nothing about C1 Rank is real or original. It was a plot device, nothing more, everything less. Aaron and L9A, on the other hand, we deserve to pay a lot of at some point. There you have it, children. You heard the man. It was all a hoax to bring attention to a fake satanic cult full of angsty, uh, SoundCloud rappers. Rather an anticlimax after what we've survived. I guess that means the war's over. Back it up. We're going home. Thank you all so much for watching. No. There is a video of someone stomping a puppy to death. That much is real. The itinerary for today was never to figure out who uploaded it or who took credit for it. It was to figure out who made it. So we're not fucking done here.
I am going to play this for you, but before I do, I'm going to warn you now that what you are about to see is extremely graphic. The YouTube version will be blurred, but what you're about to see is nothing compared to what you're about to hear. In a few moments, I will leave a timestamp if you would like to skip it. I do not want you to skip it. I want you to look at this. Because whether you look at it or not, it happened. It happens every fucking day on this goddamned planet. And I believe pretending it doesn't exist is a bit of a problem. So I want you to see what all these children saw. But more importantly, I want you to see what this little creature lived through. For those of you that are not 18 or older, or really just can't bear to see it, please go ahead and skip. Here is the timestamp. You have 10 seconds. Spirited people sick of standing by while bad people continue to do bad things <sighs> without consequence. Injustice will no longer be tolerated. There is no agency here for the rules because we're rebels. Hee <laughs> hee. Dedicated only to 
reporting you to the police. So let me be perfectly clear if I haven't been before. I am not a documentarian. I am not a journalist. I am not a filmmaker. I'm not even a good guy. I am a self-righteous YouTuber with a mirrorless and a bad attitude. Please navigate to the description if you just want evidence. These videos themselves, I think, no. I believe my audience doesn't want to just hear the facts. I think they want to see someone give more than a single shit. Someone who's gonna go off the rails for them. Someone who is willing to use law and order. Thus, these videos have never been anything more than revenge porn at best. Otherwise, you could call it a sneak peek preview into a fairy tale. The one that we are making of unicorns. We are going to make sure you get the help you need. Come to your senses. We hope you start feeling better. Make sure to bandage yourself up if you get some close up shots. Adorable little face. Then we're gonna live stream a mukbang on Twitch. And let the world watch as we course play, but in a very friendly way. The very last memories of you will be your sparkling personality. And then you will finally be famous. Of course, that's all just metaphorical, right, guys? Yes. Am I right, guys? Yes. Am I right, guys? Yes. Come what may, I care not for the sympathizers and bystanders nipping at my heels. I have learned to ignore such naysayers when <laughs> quelling. rare species of mama who want to play devil's advocate for matters they may not be so educated about but they may do as they wish shame us slur us slight us them and their words will someday die and the ashes they leave behind will have more of an impact on this world than they ever did themselves and we are going to continue our work spilling spaghetti sauce on anyone who dares lay their torturous hands on any child or animal ever again. I think I'd like to call it monstricide. out the garbage and then wash your own hands some of the brightest and darkest hunters i will ever have contact with my employers agree with me you all have limitless Sweepstakes. For those of you who would like to collect, simply email me the identity of our assailant. The first one to do so can consider themselves hired. Here are the rules. Do not try this at home if you don't know what you're doing. You have no idea the dangers you put yourself in when dosy doing with these kinds of people. You must be 18 or older, and you must remain completely anonymous. And most importantly, this task is intended only for my people who have can-do attitudes. So join me at your own risk. We live only to...
violent those who hurt others. And then finally, once you have found them, please do not bully or harass this person. Because, well... They're gonna go to jail, so no need to be mean. But please leave that to me. So for those of you that remain, and you know who you are, please come with me. These are the only unique identifiers we have. The video, the shoes, and the puppy. If you recognize any of them, start there. If not, here is some persons of interest we can... Kindly interview. If you're still here and really want to help, but you can't or you shouldn't, I highly implore you all to donate to your favorite animal shelter. Additionally, all of the ad revenue made from this video will be donated to one of my favorite animal shelters, Tacky Shelter, who has saved most precious lives from countless horrors. I am not the example to follow. I am just a dumbass, and there are genuinely much better people out there to take after. The real good guys. well-meaning people who want to help put away pedophiles and zeus sadists alike the type of person who can offer victims justice and you can trust me we can play a game but they have no chance of winning <laughs> Smiley face.
Ferguson, Alex Najjar, Alexis Wilf, all pedos will hang. Alfie was taken, Amy Knight, Amy Pounders, Amy Swisher, Animated Blood, and on and on, Anthony Collins, Aquos Blue, Arson Capable, Art Ari 47, Ash, Audio Error, Austin North, Ava Python, Aviator N, Babel, Badger Actual, Bailey T, Banana Addict GD, Banano, Barack Obama, Bed Knees, Bill Bonium, Bree Nutting, Bree, Brief Insanity TV, Brian Merrill, Bryce Churchill, Bug, Buddy, C. Baker, Captain Nemo, Carbonic Kid, Cardboard Box, Carrie Ann, Carrot, Cerberry, Caesar Munoz, Chasing, Cherub, Chiquito Wabamaya, Christopher Odom, Chucky Zero One, Cirrus, Claris, Code Zero, Connor Tops Shawl, Copper Shore, Corrupted Bloxes, Captain Jacks, Creep the Geek, Cringy Dingy, Crusader of Baguette, Cynical Evie, CZ Gaming Ten, Dante, DB Cakes, Denise by Tears. <laughs> Ertzi, Devin Dater Tots, Dylan Funk, Dismal Abysmal, DJ Cream Cheese, Dawn, Dresden, E. Gray, Eel, Elena Engstrom, M, Emily Eowyn Yost, Enigma Arachnido, Eogen Harry, E.T. Chasse, E.T. Upgrade, Ubiquus, Fomlos, Fletcher Scotland, Forsaken Borg, Frag, G A H T M A P Gabe Henstrand Gabriel Marker Garoga Jeff B Nice Shorts Goat Mother Golden Dorothy Goon Squad Greens Graves Gui Tigro G Walking Harps Haro ninety six Avrilo the Pigeon Heinrich Holy Shirt Holly Gonzalez, Holly's ex Anne Marie, Huge Jackman, I am Raw, Encanton, Infinity Prophet, IXNXL, Izanami, Jackson, Jacob, Jamie P, Jamie R. Stout, Jason Hollis, Jeff is Jesus, Jacina Paul, Jewel Bratz, John Santos, John Saez, Jonah, Jonah Wilson, Jonathan McDonald, Jordan Miles, Joseph Harris, Josh Riggin, Just Hayden, Justin Rines, Kaiki, Canoe, Kaipetsuo, Kelsey Bohe, Kim Eckert, Kip Lilly, Cairo, Cryptid, Quinn, Kyle, Kyle Pond, Lene, Larissa McCrone, Lars, Late Dozer, Laura Angel, Leader in Red, Legion, Lehi Acosta, Leah, Lieutenant Jinx, Lisa Clark, Lit Grim, Little Hellion, LT Really the Worst, Luke Tickle, Luz Mariela Diaz Rodriguez, Lynn M, Lynn Wicked, Machine Gun Patriot, Magnanius, Manuel Paredes, Marcy, Mariana, Marky Mark, Maru the World, Mary Mononoke, Max Scenery, Mayra L, McCall, Mega Dizzy, Mephits, Miranda Wrights, M Fresh, Michael Coon, Micro Menchie, Ming, Mr. Egglesworth, Monique Mansur, Moonlum, Morgan, Mr. Damien, Myco Trismic Gistis, Ms. Gwendolyn, Nachos, Name, Nat Attack, Nightmare, Nipple Man, Nyquist, Oh Man, Optimus Prime, Papa John, Falling Slash Candy, Pink String Thing, Buggers of Greed, Press Start Mom, Psycho, Puts, Puppy Girl Jenna, Python Duck, Qwerty Pie, Rachel Berry, Raquel, Rattled Bones, Raven Fire, Red Mill, Remy, Renee Bra, One Fourth GGE Man, Ricardi B, Rich Baker, Rochelle is Canadian, Roses, Rathotic, R 
Rex 420 Mayhem, Soapbox, Sam, Sam Ingram, Samuel Weatherington, Sarah Wilk, Sasso Secreto, Saturn's Black Cube, S Puppy 45, Schaefer Merrill, Scott B. Kelly, Shadow Domozilla, Simo She, Sir Atlich, Skya 69, Snaps the Buddy, Snow Hakashin, Some Poor Sod, Sonic Executable, Sorcion, Soren the Zoroark, Spiky Teeth, Star Sail or Mars, Stiff BK, Stratton SEC, Succubus GF, Sit Boy, Tammy Rochax, Danmi Joshi, Tars, Texi, Tenacious Spank, Thetting a Dan P, The Ever Chosen, The Ghosts That Live in the Apartment Above Chris and Sweeney, The Legendary Hork Genocider, The Leaky, The Real Marble Girl, Thomas Ng, Tic Tac 22, Tim Altstadt, Timothy Neversoft, Travis Wallace, Trend Killer, Tristan, Tyler Myers, Unit Reaper, Uncaring Bastard, Uncommonwealth, Understandra, V. Nil Ravenathetti, Violet Hogan, Vio Villa Stars, Void Head Null, O What and Where, Wild Goose, Witch and Ouija, Wolf of the Void, Wumpus, Yes Sir, Yeetaw, You Will Be Deleted, Zach Smith, Zach of All Trades 96, Santa Rankin, Satchius, Zen Roland, Zippy, Zorgot, Zypher. Thank you all. Oh, and Sylphet. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you. 